All right, all right, guys. Trenton here at the Budget Shooter Project again with the My First Pistol video. So my first handgun, as you can see by the uh, shape of the slide and such, is a Glock. Yes, I know, I have just entered the realm of the Glock fanboy. But, I completely agree with a lot of the YouTubers that do Glock videos. I agree with Iraq Veteran, uh, Military Arms Channel. I don't quite agree with some of the torture methods some of the other guys have used for them. But, this video is the My First Pistol video. This is the Glock 22 in a 40 caliber. Now the 40 caliber, I know, is the faster, less heavy hitting version of the 45, but I have been used to shooting the 40. I shot 40s with my friends on his grandfather's grass field for years. Um, now, where I'll be shooting this is not in that grass field. It's actually in one of my mom's friends' uh, llama pastures, of all places. Or down in the rock field, rock field behind the house. Um, this pistol. Rugged, simple, reliable. Overall weight was 26 ounces. So a little heavier for concealed carry, but I have figured out that one of the jackets that I have works perfectly for it with the inside pocket. It does not print. It's just an all-around perfect pistol for me. Now, some of you I know, Smith & Wesson or American Made. Now, Glock, as you can see, has an outpost in Smyrna, Georgia. If you're from Georgia, please comment on that and actually tell me what the correct pronunciation is, because I'm going to butcher it just like most of you guys mispronounce my home state of Oregon. It's not Oregon. It's or E gun. Just like I say, Oregon. Us guys from Oregon, we do get slightly irritated when people mispronounce our home state. It's, you know, it's just, you know, proper pronunciation of a state. But, as you can see, 40 caliber barrel, octagonal twist on the barrel. I believe it is a 1 in 7 twist barrel. I'd have to go back and look up uh, this particular model on Glock's website again. Um, your standard captured firing pin springs and your striker fired standard Glock. What you're getting with your Glocks polymer lower, metal upper which I believe is an aluminum upper, a machined aluminum upper. And you're getting rugged dependability, a lifetime parts replacement guarantee, and the fact that you're shooting a pistol that 65% of law enforcements around the United States and the world use. And to boot Glocks, they're accurate. It's just a simple pistol with rugged reliability and accuracy to boot. Now, as you can see, I have put my own lubricant in it. Like I said in previous videos, Hope's High Viscosity, I run it in all my guns. Now, if you want me to, I will do a breakdown video, show you how to break down the Glock. It is probably the easiest pistol to do it with. Um, this gun, primarily, here's how I got it. Me and my mom, she got it for me for my 21st birthday, which was this last Wednesday. So, Friday, we go into Sportsman's, it was her first time, and, uh, she ended up falling in love with the store, store long story short, uh, <laughs> But um, we were looking, because I was looking for the Smith & Wesson, either M&P or XD. 
but I ended up holding between the XD and the Glock 22. The Glock 22's grips just felt so much better. It fit the hand better. And I kind of got my mom to spend 500 bucks on a handgun for me. But she's also excited to shoot it, and there will be footage of that this coming spring. Look for all my shooting videos this spring, like I said, when weather gets better. This has been Trenton with the Budget Shooter Project. Wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I will get back to you, so like, comment, and subscribe. And this has been Trenton, once again, signing off.